everyone, this is Mr. Bob Ronan here again, and today it's time to learn Kimberly. We've gone through basically the entire cast by now, and Kimberly, I'm a little bit- Ooh, sorry, just broke my chair in half. Kimberly's a character I was a little bit scared to try, because in my opinion, of the characters that we have in the demo, she definitely seems like she's one of the most complicated and or technical with her different setups she has with her spray can she can throw at different distances her speed of movement changes when she does her level three she's got a lot of really um non-classical or not normal links of buttons she has very strange links and a lot of her combo routes have a lot of strange um juggle rules and I've made a- I'm making a video about the different ways that juggles work in Street Fighter 6, but there's a lot of times when something should work, and you're like, well, why doesn't it work? And the answer is, it just doesn't. But then she has things that doesn't work, but then she also has something that works, like, with literally everything. So she's got some very weird rules when it comes to juggles, and also with links. And that said, she's just a very fast, um, crazy, kind of rushdown style character with a lot of different ways of approaching either by teleporting in on top of you, doing a big lunging kick into a cross-up, throwing these cans on the floor, dashing at you, dashing at you, and then going for a grab. She's just a pretty crazy character, and there's a lot of ways that she can kind of um, weirdly skip the neutral with a lot of weird techniques. So you kind of play neutral in the most dishonest way possible, but because you have so many options, you need to really be aware of all the different ways that you can skip the neutral and not be predictable. So let's just get straight into it. We'll talk about her buttons. She's got nice fast jabs and her crouching jab links into her standing. Actually, no, it doesn't. But her standing jab is really good because it links into itself as well as linking into a target combo. Usually characters that have target combos off of their light jab, like Luke, can't link it into himself. But she has this full target combo. Light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, heavy kick. And she can do like three, three light punches before she even starts the combo. So she's got a super, super long, easy hit confirm target combo string that is leads to like a pretty nice knockdown and is just really useful. And actually, the first two hits of it are actually plus on block, which is oh plus on hit, which is not normal and reasonably safe on block. Minus six with this much pushback, um, you should be safe. You could be punished, but. Compared to other target combos where the first two hits are usually like minus 10 or something, she's pretty lucky to be minus 6 and plus on hit. Usually that is not the case. So, a pretty good target combo for her, and just being so long, it's just, I don't know, so funny to me. And this, is, this isn't this is even where it gets the weirdest. So she's got, starting with another normal one, she's got a regular standing light kick. It works pretty similarly to reuse. It's got a similar range, and obviously it hits low. And she can dash cancel it, just like Daigo does with Ryu, and then go for some combo off of that. Little drive rush cancels off of small pokes like 5k are really good because it catches people walking back and it's good on hit or on block. Now, um, she's also got another target combo when we go to her medium punch. She's got medium punch, heavy punch. So it's kind of like the same animation as her medium punch, heavy punch from the light but it doesn't include the light punch. But she also can't do the heavy kick afterwards. It's, if you don't know all of her buttons, watching her gameplay can be very confusing because she's got like reused animations here and there and it's very strange. But light punch, uh, medium punch, heavy punch is one of her core combo moves because unlike this target combo, which she can't cancel into anything, this one she can. So she can cancel into special moves, e hex special moves, supers, whatever you want. And it's where you're gonna get, uh, get most of your combo filler. And crouching medium punch is also important because look at this a six frame crouching medium punch that's plus seven on hit so i can just connect my crouching medium punch into itself or into my standing medium punch and into its target combo so a super super easy hit confirm like oh yeah okay there we go if i just poke this to do do really really easy stuff i'm not sure what it's like on block Minus one? So it's minus one and plus six, seven on hit. That's crazy. That is a really good button. Standing medium punch is minus two. So really, really quite safe buttons. 
And speaking of safe buttons, her crouching medium kick is another crazy move. It's plus five on hit, which means that she can easily go into a little low poke. And if she's close enough, she can um, link into this target combo. But most of the time you can be around this distance and just get like a little poke if you can into a DP. So that's really good. But the main crazy thing about this move is that it's plus one. She's got a crouching medium kick that is plus one. To make up for it, it isn't cancelable, so she's kind of got the guile treatment. I think a few characters have non-cancelable ones, but being plus one block, it's your low poke that reaches decently far, but it's plus one and can link into combos on hit. It's so crazy. So she can do this, mash it, mash it into itself, walk up, go for strike throw, go into other buttons. It's really, really cool and it makes sense why a lot of Kimberly players abuse it. Also, if you get it, like, um, from a distance, there's a good chance it'll be a counter hit. And even though, you know, you're so far away, you're like, what am I going to connect this into? You can actually kind of easily connect it into your sweep on counter hit, I believe. How plus is this? Oh, okay. Maybe it's only on punish counter. So that is a really cool and really interesting move. And um, her standing kick is kind of takes the cancel ability from her crouching medium kick because she can special cancel, dash cancel this one however she likes. So she's kind of got the nice long reaching medium poke, but it just isn't the, the low one that's cancelable. But it's totally fine that she has this plus on block, crouching medium kick, and then if she wants to do something and cancel into Drive Rush to keep herself safe from a Drive Impact or something, she does have an option for that too. Um, standing Heavy Punch is basically just your combo filler into this launcher. It's basically the only time you'll see people using it, or if they've gotten like blocked a DP or something and you're going for a Punish Counter combo, they'll do combos like this with that teleport into your Heavy Kick, and the rest is history. <laughs> Oops, turn that off. Standing Heavy Kick is a bit of an interesting move. It's kind of like Reuse, where it is plus on block. It's plus two, actually. So, you know, you can mash into your buttons. You can even go into your other plus on block thing if you like to push your plus frames even further. But just like Reuse, it is a, a little bit... Um, not good at hitting crouching opponents. At point blank range, yes, it does. But anything apart away from that, uh, the foot will just go flying over their head and uh, you're definitely going to get punished from that. So do be pretty careful when you use it. You either have to be really close or confident that they're not just crouching on you. And also like Ryu's uh, heavy kick is she can combo off of it. But she can combo into her main combo tool, her standing medium punch, because it is yet again plus seven. So she can do this. and easily link to her main combo tool. So it's another really good button of hers. Next, she's got two command normals with her heavy kick as well. She's got this really weird forwards heavy kick that reaches just a little bit under round start distance. If I just press it now, oh, okay. It's actually exactly round start distance. So if I do it, you can see she does this massive leap forwards, hits the opponent, I'm plus two, and before we get to the crazy stuff, I'll also just mention, I didn't realize, it's also safe on block. It's minus one or minus two or minus three, depending on when it hits. So this massive long reaching kick is plus on hit and safe on block. But the crazy part about it is that she can jump cancel off of it. So I can jump cancel into a kick and then fall back down on top of my opponent when <laughs> they're just trying to block my move. I jump and then go for an overhead. So you might be thinking, well, can't he just go for a DP? Well, yes, but I can also jump over the top of him by pressing diagonally forward. So I can do a cross up from this massive flying kick. I can cross over to the other side, make them with their DP. And of course, I'm still gonna be getting a combo. That is so ridiculous. And if, if somehow they have something to answer for you crossing over behind them, she can also just jump away. And from this jump away, you know, if they do try to dash towards you, you can still press buttons so you can smack them out trying to hit you. It's so, so crazy. Such a weird move. 
And um, if he lands on counter hit, because, you know, you're already over, all the way over here, maybe they're trying to go for, like, a projectile or something, or they've gone to press a button and you get a counter, or a punish counter, even better. But he, um, you can get the, the jump. And the jump will actually combo now, because of the extra hits done. So she can do the cross-up jump. Combo into the jump. Combo into buttons off of the jump. It's, it's a crazy button. It is a wild, wild, wild button. And off of a bunch of her knockdowns, like something like this, she can drive rush into it from like full screen, as long as she has a decently long knockdown. And see, he only had like four or five frames to match, depending on what, how long your knockdown is. And this becomes more plus on hit, but also it becomes plus on block. This crazy mix-up, long-reaching thing- oh, he's not blocking. <laughs> Becomes plus one to plus three, which is just so ridiculous. This move is wild. Wild, wild, wild. And if you do it close to the opponent, um, you'll just jump over them. So uh, if you want to do some weird, wacky stuff and get to the other side, you can just jump over them, go for drive impact as soon as they are like, what the hell's going on here? Such a weird button. And it's a perfect match to all the other weird things she has. She also has a backwards heavy punch, a uh, backwards heavy kick, sorry. And this is a really good overhead. Minus three, so totally safe on block if they do manage to react to it. And if they don't react to it, it's plus four on hit, which means you can combo off of it for free. For free! That is so, so wild. So much of her toolkit, I'm like, is that allowed? Is she allowed to do that? That doesn't seem normal. But she does it. And I think now that- oh no, she's got one more crazy normal. She's got her down forward, so like diagonally down forward medium kick, which hits at about a tiny bit of an instep in from round start distance. And if you hit it from its maximum range, it's plus five. So she can just combo off of it. Into her target combo, or just into a poke, into a DP or whatever. But she can combo off of it. When it's close, she is definitely minus, so you do have to be careful about spacing it, and that's where it comes into play. You really have to think about what option you use in different scenarios. And when it hits at max range, it's also totally safe. It's zero. And do be careful to not use it like here, because you'll definitely get punished at minus 10. But uh, we've, we haven't even gotten into her special moves yet, and she already seems like such a ridiculous character. She's got this massive flailing kick that just jumps over the opponent, just mixes them up all day. She's got this low slide that, that, by the way, goes under most projectiles. So she can slide from round start distance onto the opponent and then get a combo off of it, or just be totally safe if she spaces it correctly. She's got this crouching medium kick that reaches, like, an okay distance for a low attack that is plus on block and can lead into combos. Uh, what else? I don't even remember. And just like any of her mediums, just everything links into what she wants to do. Everything links into her standing medium punch. Even her standing heavy kick, a big heavy button, will lead into her standing medium punch. She's just so uh, irregular and so much fun. Even just this long target combo. What is that? I have no idea. It's so fun. So, buttons are crazy. Let's start talking special moves. Her, like, character unique special move is her spray cans. And you can see she's got the little spray can meter at the top of the screen here. She starts every round with two spray cans. And you can throw them out at different distances. You press down, down, punch, and the different punch button you do will depend on where it gets thrown. So if you do the light version, it'll get thrown close to you. Medium punch version, further away from you. Heavy punch version, it'll be, like, full screen. And if you do manage to throw them all out and you're using them tons, you can build them back, but you have to do the input again. And then she'll, like, I don't know, make another one, and then she can throw it out. Or you can do the meter burn version, and she'll build back two of them. But usually, the two cans in one round is good enough for me, and I don't bother wasting my time building back another one. Also, you can kind of do an OD version of the spray can toss, but it doesn't cost you any meter. As you saw there, I pressed two punch buttons and she threw out two spray cans, but it didn't cost me any meter. So you can just choose to throw both out at the same time if you like. Which I feel like if you're really unconfident and you know your po opponent is gonna be trying to close in on you, maybe it's a, a really rushdown character like Jury or someone, 
and you want to keep them away, I can press down, down, punch, and medium punch. And I just put these two spray cans right in front of me. What are you going to do? You have to time yourself perfectly so you don't get hit by these two massive bombs right in front of me. And if you didn't notice, when the opponent gets hit by these, they get blasted into the air. And this state that they're put in when they get hit by these is a special juggle state. And what that means is that you can hit them with basically anything. Normally in this game, uh, when your opponent is in the air, like this, your buttons just don't really connect. Regular attacks don't hit. Usually specials do. But from this, it's a special juggle state, and any of your attacks will just connect, including her meter burn air grab, which is really good because it leads to combos. And that's a really cool conversion off of the spray can explosion. Normally, she's not able to combo into this meter burn version because the game just says, no, you can't do that. You can do it off for the regular version, but not the OD version. But the spray cans lets her do that. So she can basically juggle into anything she likes off of it, and that just means that she can get really cool, like, um, combos either using her, her aerial grab, or you can just do any buttons. Like you saw there, my forwards heavy kick was comboing as well. So anywhere on the screen, you have the chance of either like just dashing in and getting a DP, or if you want to be a real tryhard, you can actually get a combo with the buttons. But the can be a little bit tricky. <laughs> yeah. So they're really cool. Um, how much should we talk about them? I think I want to keep talking about them. <laughs> so as you can see on the bottom of the screen, the total duration to throw out the spray can is 44 frames. And you have a few different ways of getting a knockdown that will let you get this out safely. And that includes her attack string of light, medium, heavy punches. She can throw this out and she will still be advantageous afterwards. I did a little bit late there, but I think she can do it even earlier. Or maybe not. But if the opponent is in the air, and you do this, and plus five, and the spray can is on the screen, because usually there's not many knockdowns. Like, if you do a DP, you can't just throw this out. You'll be minus and you'll get punished and very, very bad. So. You've got this as a way of throwing out the spray cans. You've also got this, which is a special move we'll get to soon. But after you've gotten something and you've got a knockdown where you can go for that, that leaves you plus. You're at plus seven. And also, maybe that's it. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I think they're the main ones. Or if, And if you're mid-screen, you can safely throw out the far or medium distance ones after your aerial, like, spinning kicks. You will be only minus eight, but you're not plus, but you're definitely not going to be punished from that distance. So that's also an option. So using those ways of going into the spray cans, particularly in the corner, is really useful because then you can go for all your crazy spray can mix-ups. And trust me, there are a lot of crazy spray can mix-ups. Just, like, search search on YouTube and I'm sure you'll find tons of weird options and crazy things that she can do of like stuff that is auto timed stuff that does crazy damage there's a lot of cool options and basically you'll be wanting to go for an overhead or a throw or or sorry overhead low or even a throw because the throw actually will combo into the spray cans really easily really easily he says Really easily, he says? I guess not. Maybe that was something just from the older betas? Hmm. They thought that was too crazy. Okay, anyways, overhead or a low into the spray can explosion, and then I could get a big cool combo. So the spray cans are cool, but trust me, that is not where her unique special moves ends. If we're just sticking with the punch buttons, she's got two more special moves bound to the punch buttons. So I think we'll start with down forward punch. She's a light version, she just does this simple punch. Medium punch version, she does this big slide into an overhead, like, nice knockdown kick. You can get after stuff like this, leads to a nice knockdown, splats them on the floor. The heavy punch version, she does an upwards kick and launches them in the air. And you can actually jump cancel this and go into the air with them. 
and then you can do a jump medium punch into air spinning kick and get a nice knockdown and that's just a really um consistent way that she's gonna go for combos so after a drive rush or something and you get to go into things like this and she can even ex it or od it sorry spend meter on it and then go for her level two it's just a really good launcher of hers and it is actually a proper launcher like she doesn't need to she doesn't need to um jump cancel it for it to be useful she can even drive rush cancel it into buttons like this and then use that as a way to go for her spray cans um, or she can even just juggle into her supers. That wasn't a cancel, they were just in the air for so long that she just can go for that. Or she can go into other ones like that. So it's a very good launcher. And that's basically all these are useful for because they're very bad on block. They're just combo filler. The light one will connect off of your lights. The medium will be able to connect off of your medium attack strings. But, uh, but the heavy won't, unfortunately, as it's your launcher. The heavy can only connect after things like your heavy punch. But um, also, the EX version will basically just be like the speed of the medium, but you get the launch of the heavy. So you can use that to extend combos. Pretty cool. Now, down back punch. Is there a spray can or a spray paint teleport? So this is a pretty interesting special move. It is it is a teleport. As you can see, if I do a full screen, I teleport right in on top of Luke and I'm in his face. But you do have to not abuse it too much because you can see it has 17 frames of recovery but it does have eight frames of invincibility so you can use it against projectiles if luke is trying to throw a projectile against me i can just teleport through it and i'm in his face might even be able to punish him with a throw or just teleport in and hit him with buttons as a punish so it's really cool and it doesn't it doesn't get less cool with the EX version, it gets even cooler. She teleports into the air, so she can get an instant overhead from like anywhere on the screen. Obviously it's slightly reactable, but like barely. It's what, um, 17 frames? A 17 frame overhead? No, uh, sorry, 27. 27 frame overhead from anywhere on the screen is pretty powerful, to say the least. So this is useful either just in neutral, to, if you just want to be like, hey, I want to be in, I want to have my turn now, or to get through projectiles. But it's also useful in your combos because it brings you back towards the opponent. So if you get something like a big punish counter combo, you can link your standing heavy punch into your standing heavy kick. But as you can see, now I'm this far away. But if I did my heavy standing heavy punch and then teleport into my standing heavy kick, I'm left a lot closer. So then I can actually link into the things I want to link into. So it can be used to make her combos even better just by bringing her closer. And of course, obviously, it has the ability to be a gimmicky kind of pressure block string kind of thing. I don't think there's any uses for it that are actually like guaranteed. She's always very minus, but being able to just like cancel anything into like, oh, what's going on? And then as soon as she appears, she's doing a grab. It's only reactable if they're reacting to the appearance of paint. You can't see what she's doing uh, after she appears at all. As soon as she's like visible on the screen, she's able to grab you, which is pretty scary. That also means she's able to just um, go for a low, appear, go for an overhead. So it's honestly pretty scary. And then, obviously, you can also just j appear in the air and go for an overhead after anything. Which, yes, it can probably an be anti-aired or DP'd, but it's just the threat of all these weird options that she can go for, and it lets her get away with so many things like this. So that's her teleport. We've finished with the punch buttons. Now let's start with the kick buttons. So she's got a down back kick as her DP. And uh, so obviously as a DP does, it works to anti-air the opponent. It's invincible against aerial attacks. And the OD version is actually invincible as well. It's not just for aerial attacks. So she has an invincible wake up, which is super handy, but just as DPRs, it's very, very punishable. So don't do it if you think they're gonna block. Um, yeah, great reversal, and just, 
It looked, uh, when I first saw this, I thought it was such a weird looking animation, especially the heavy pig version. Like what is going on? The screen is just flying around. Both characters are just flailing around. It feels like we're in a, like a different game in some kind of anime or something. But uh, animation aside, it's very good. It's plus 32 on hit and does a nice chunk of damage. So after something like this, if you just want to go into a single special move, that's probably your most damaging option. And even though you're left far away, you can drive rush into something like this. And as you can see, he only had four frames of like in between his recovery of getting up and getting hit by the move. So he couldn't really go for much to match. Of course, he can drive impact or something, but it's just the the thought that this is a really strong option. And she, even though she's full screen, she's never not a threat. And of course, she, I wonder what it's like if she teleports in. I think she's going to be minus, right? Place your bets. Hello. Yeah, she's minus. Thank goodness. But if I do the overhead one, even though I'm minus, I can still attack instantly. I don't know, seems pretty scary. And of course, I can safely throw out some of these bombs. And cover the screen that way. So, really good combo ender, damaging, and an invincible wake up. And then we've got down forward kicks. And I think this is the last special move. Let's just check so that I don't accidentally miss an entire special move system. Oh yeah, we've got the aerial, the aerial grab. So yeah, we've got this run and we've talked about everything else. Okay, so the run, it's a, it's a bit of a irregular run. It's not like Ken or Luke's is really weird as well. <laughs> but hers is basically, she presses down forward kick, and then she goes into this ninja running stance. And when she gets to the opponent, she'll do a backflip off of them, and it activates upon being close to the opponent. So this isn't an attack or an input I'm doing, and if she never gets close to the opponent, or she will, but if she jumps, if they jump, she'll just stop eventually, and this backflip won't come out. So this only happens upon impact. And after she does this impact flipping off of the opponent, she can press kick again and go over a dive kick. So it does more damage, and has more corner carry and a better knockdown. You can get this off of basically anything, like even her main combo tool. As you can see, I can go into this run, into the dive kick afterwards, just by pressing kick, and I'm brought basically instantly into the corner. And so that's really good. Uh, do, 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 do. Change my opponent to block. And it's also really good on block. As you can see, if I do the first, just the back flip, I'm minus six from all the way over here. So I'm basically neutral. And I thought this was pretty crazy how safe this this really um, interesting attack is, that she can just back flip away from you and be totally safe. And if the opponent is trying to dash in or like chase you down after you back flip all the way over here, well then you can always do the dive game. But you do want to be careful because it is minus eight. But. She can also go for a throw. Yeah. If <laughs> she presses a punch, so dash in and go for an unblockable throw that does a decent chunk of damage. And both the dive kick and the throw get a lot better when you go into the OD version of the move. So if I do the OD version of the move while he's blocking and I go for this throw, the throw bounces him. So I can do a combo like this. <laughs> oh god, it's so cool. So, um, yeah, after you get the bounce of the opponent, you can do your forwards heavy kick, jump cancel it into your jumping medium punch, and then go down forward medium punch. And get a super, super cool conversion off of this unblockable throw. And if you are hitting the opponent and you use the OD version in a combo, and you do the dive kick, it bounces them on the wall, and they get stuck there for ages. And you can do this from so far away. Look, we're literally like mid-screen right now. And I do this EX move, he's stuck on the wall. And I can dash in and go for any kind of combo or weird stuff that I want. It's really, really uh, a fascinating special move. And we're not done here. So she can do the run, but she can also cancel it by pressing a punch button before she comes into contact with the opponent. So she can be dashing at them, they think they're gonna do a dive kick off or the backflip off of them, and then you cancel it before it touches them, and you throw them. So just another 
crazy way that she can mix up the opponent and make them have no idea what's actually coming at them. And yet again, that is not it, because she also has three follow-ups that she can go for um, before she does the backflip. So she can either press light punch to do this kind of um, wheel flip kick thing, which doesn't look like a dude much. It doesn't like start combos unless the opponent is already in the air, that is. I just may as well show that now. Oops. If the opponent is airborne and you go for this as a combo extender, hello. You can extend combos off of it, but where it really becomes useful is, you guessed it, it's plus on block. It's plus one. So after any of your knockdowns, like... If you get something like this, you can just dash in and you're plus in their face to, of course, strike throw. And um, yeah, there's a lot of knockdowns where this is a, a really useful thing to go for. Just any time in neutral. You can do it like there, but there will be a big gap. But hey, it, it's, it's, it's not too much different from Ken doing his like Fudra arc thing that's plus unblocked. So she has ways of enforcing plus frames from special moves, which is all that matters, and it's really cool. Then if she presses medium kick, she does this low slide, which is punishable at minus 12, but that depends on when it hits the opponent. And this thing has a lot of active frames, so that you know where this is going. If I hit my opponent with something, I don't know, like this, Oh, he's not blocking right. I dash in and do this. Oh, still wasn't great timing. Minus two. So I can make it safe. And I'm pretty sure the ES EX version can even become plus and block. Maybe not. <laughs> so she's got a low that can hit late and become safe. And also, I forgot to mention, goodness me, there's so many things to mention with this character. If it hits late, she can combo it into a DP. Just to... Just because why not? <laughs> and then also, if I press heavy kick, she's got an overhead slam kick. That is, you guessed it, not plus on block, but it's safe on block. Minus three, and if you hit it um, like meaty at, on their wake up, it can become like minus one or whatever. So, a really, really goddamn interesting special move with a lot of different options. It's got different follow ups, whether it hits the opponent. It's got different follow-ups like before it hits the opponent. And it's got the follow-up of not hitting the opponent at all. It is very, very crazy. And this special move in itself would lead to a very variable neutral, where the opponent's like, oh god, what is she going to do? Is she going to run in and be a plus on block? Is she going to run in do a low? Is she going to run in do an overhead? Is she going to run in, um, hit me, then go for a throw? Is she going to run in, cancel into a throw? It's already enough. Then combining in the fact that she's got teleports into a throw, teleports into an overhead. She's got this massive flailing kick that she can cross up with. She's got this slide that becomes safe and can start combos. She has a lot of stuff. And I think you see why I'm really excited for people to get really, really good with her because I think a really good Kimberly player is going to be crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways. Now we've talked about, no we haven't, we haven't talked about all the special moves because she has one more and she's got an aerial grab. So to do this aerial grab, it is down, forward, punch. And it's a grab in the air, does a good chunk of damage and leads to a nice hard knockdown. So you can dash in and get some Oki. But um, if you want to input this really quickly and not just go like up and then down, forward, punch, you can do down, forward, punch on the ground and just kind of keep going around and end up doing like a full half circle ending in like upwards or up forwards because then the down forward still counts and the up forwards will be part of your jump and you just press punch after doing that full half circle and you'll instantly do it as soon as you leave the ground and you can really quickly grab people out of the air. Now this is really useful when, when you're trying to use it in combos and stuff. If he lets me do a combo. You 
because you can get it more easily there, and particularly off of this spray can situations. Because you want to do it really low to the ground, and you just press two punches for the OD version, and just doing this input makes it a lot easier to do it um, really quickly than going jump and then down forward. So uh, yeah, it's a special move, it's a grab, and as you saw, the EX version leads to a bounce that leads to combos. The exact same bounce as this one, by the way. Right, now we've finally gone over all our special moves. Let's just quickly talk about the supers. Down forward, down forward punch is level one. It's just a nice, invincible super. Does a decent chunk of damage, but it does actually absorb one of her spray cans to do that extra explosion at the end. And if she is out of spray cans and goes for the level one super, it'll just do less damage. Level two is down back, down back punch. And as you can see by the way she jumps into the air to do it, this is also able to be done in the air which is cool, because after you do an aerial combo like this, she can just extend into a level 2 super for a bunch more damage. And level 3 is down forward, down forward punch, which is a big swipe with her radio uh, walkman thing, and she can go into it pretty easily um, off of any of her down forward uh, punch things. If she does a down forward heavy punch, she can juggle into it, which is actually pretty good because then it doesn't get the scaling of cancelling. Because if you don't know, if you cancel into your level 3 super from a special move or something, it does like reduce damage. So if you just do a juggle into it, it'll do more damage. But she can also, like if she does something like this into the medium or light version of the special move, that will also be able to be cancelled into it. And yeah, other than that, she doesn't have too much of a hard time going into it. Also, if she's ever in a juggle like this, where you've gotten this long knockdown, that's actually um, plus enough that she can uh, go for the level 3 there as a juggle once again, without having to need to cancel. So this isn't a- oops! This isn't a cancel, it's just a juggle. the timing is a little hard but yeah you can do that in the if you were planning on going for a spray can reset and then you're like oh i actually have a level three you can be like oh let me catch him with that anyways oh yeah and then with level three i'm sure you know this already when she does her level three even if she whiffs it she gets this little icon here beside her meter of a, a hand jamming out and she's got this like um uh, what do you call that the, the, uh, the audio stuff around her head. <laughs> and she also changes the music of the screen, so a bunch of stuff changes, but the main thing that's different is that she deals... Does she deal more damage? I'm not sure about that, but she definitely moves faster. So look how quickly I can walk towards my opponent and grab him. And I know just, like, just looking at the screen, it doesn't look like much, but in action, it's a really big difference because when you're going for this kind of stuff and you're like, oh, will I throw, will I not throw? A lot of characters cannot walk in and out of range of throws as easily. A lot of the time you walk forward and then go to walk back, but you, you still get thrown because you can't walk back fast enough. But she can walk in, out, in, out, in, out super fast. And in combining this with her amazing buttons, it has like plus unblock lows, a loopable throw. She, uh, this extra mobility is crazy. It also makes her jump faster, I believe, and her dash gets slightly bit faster. So here it's 18 frames. And here it's... okay, it doesn't get faster, never mind. Maybe that also is different. And also, most importantly, it looks really cool and leaves the paint on the ground. That is just so cool. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Whoa, that took a while. That it hurts her buttons, her specials, and her supers. Let's just quickly talk about what kind of combo routes we'll be going for whenever we get hits. And then I think we can take ourselves online. So obviously off of our little pokes, if we're just getting a bunch of hits, we can easily do three buttons into a DP. Or even um, if I'm getting my standing lights, I can go into this target combo. If I get a like a, a crouching medium punch as a poke, that, as we mentioned, can lead into my standing medium punch. And my standing heavy kick can also lead into my standing medium punch. And my crouching medium kick can link into my crouching light punch. So a bunch of ways of linking into a bunch of different things. When you go into your... And like, 
If you end in your crouching light punch, you're just gonna end in a DP. But whenever you can link into your standing medium punch, this is where our combo is gonna get more interesting and variable. So there's a bunch of different ways you can end this combo. You can either do down forward medium punch for a decently damaging and like nice knockdown that leaves you really close to the opponent. Or you can go for your heavy DP, which does more damage but leaves you further away. It does technically have a longer knockdown as well, so you can go for drive rush or throw out a, a spray can or something. So you can also go for your EX down forward punches and end your combo by going uh, either jump medium punch into your spin kicks or... Actually, you can't go into the throw off that one. Never mind. Whoopsie whoops. And she can also go into her... Um, her dash flip kick stuff. Down forward kicks. This has a lot of corner carry. With that dash in, you basically draw it straight into the corner. And as we mentioned, if you decide to spend meter and do the OD version, you'll get brought right to the corner and you can easily, easily, easily wall spread from even mid-screen. And then set up some spray can pressure. And then from any of the grabs, you can do this combo. Oops, I messed it up. But when we get the grab, we do forward heavy kick, jump medium punch, down forward medium punch. Really cool stuff. And is that about everything we need to know? Or I guess also when we go for a drive rush, so after something like this, you can pretty consistently drive rush into her standing heavy kick, which is really good because if the opponent is in block stun, they will actually get hit by this heavy kick, and then you'll be very, very plus on hit or on block. Plus six. Let me just check that it does actually work against crouches. Yeah, cool, because you're close enough. So you'd be plus on hit or block, which, hey, means that you can actually go into your standing heavy punch. And from your standing heavy punch, you can go into your heavy down forward punch and get the jump cancel combos. And I believe here you can actually go for the grab. There we go, yeah. Which just adds a bit more damage and you get left pretty close in a hard knockdown. So a little bit better for your Oki. Other than that, I think we just have need a drive impact combo, which I'm pretty sure the easiest thing is just to go into that and do that like end part of the drive rush combo. And if they get splatted on the wall from a drive impact, I find there are two routes you can do. You can either do this, where they get splatted to the wall, you go crouching heavy punch into down forward, down forward, like down forward kick into the light kick follow up from your run. and then a heavy DP. Or you can just do the same thing as we did on a regular drive impact. Hello. So that's just a little less damage, but if you're used to doing it, you may as well do that so you don't drop it. And I think that's basically all we need. We've got a drive rush combo, a drive impact combo. We've got combos off of our lights. We've got combos off of our mediums. I think most of the time, off of my medium punch, I'll just go for this run-in, because as we established, the run is really good on hit or on block, so I may as well just dial in for that anyways, and if it's on hit, then I get the dive kick and a lot of corner carry, and if it does get blocked, well, I can, um... I can cancel it early and go for a throw or an overhead or whatever. So I think that's going to be a lot better of an option than going for a DP or a this. Unless it's already from like, I know I'm getting a combo and I just want to get a bit more damage from a situation like that, then I guess I'll do that. Oh yeah, and also if we get a punish counter on some things, like our forwards heavy kick, then we can just jump forwards and into our jumping medium kick and get the same combos we've been doing. And I don't think there are other, too many other important punish counters than her heavy punch, which I'll cancel into the teleport, heavy kick, medium punch, heavy and punch, into whatever combos we're doing off of that. And cool, going into supers will be pretty easy, because I can cancel, you know, these buttons that I'm going to be doing all the time into a super anyway. 
if I really want to go for something like this. Or if I get this wall splat. I can do that. And whenever I'm in the air, I can extend by doing my EX spin kicks into my level 2. And basically any of my juggles will easily go into a level 3. Whoops. Or maybe not easily, but... And also this will super easily work off of my little light poke. But I don't think we'll have too much problems going into our supers. Hopefully. Cool. Okay. I think we, we know all we need to know. Let's try a route online. Comes a new challenger. Okay. First round versus a jury. <clears throat> we look kind of the two rushdown ladies of the beta. Ninja and a psychopath. Let's just do this at the round start. Oh, that didn't kill. Damn, round one perfect KO. I'm so good at learning, guys. Look, I'm instantly a pro. Top one Kimberly right here. I say after using, I think, one special move the entire match. Maybe two, including the DP. And fighting against a jury that um, only knows how to dash and do random special moves. Hey, I'll take anything. Well, although that was a fun and impressive first round for a perfect, I think we're going to find a new opponent. Comes a new challenger. Okay. I actually realized I forgot to mention she's got a, a jump, down, medium punch, where she does an elbow drop. Which seems really, really good for ambiguous jump ins and just weird angle changes. Yeah, this one. so satisfying. Damn. Guys, she's kind of cool. She's kind of cool. I'm kind of falling. I'm gonna have character, um, what's it called when you don't know which character you want to play as? I'm gonna have that real bad with this game. Oh yeah, you can actually interrupt in between the run, but I'm surprised to see him actually doing that. Oh, okay, I'm glad that worked because I was a bit, uh... Silly. Damn, yeah. I didn't know if I should do it again or that was too predictable. Damn, nice count punish. Ooh, okay, cool. Nice. Really nice. No! Whoopsie. <laughs> it's 
kind of getting mesmerized and trying to pay attention to what combos he was doing. But I was just playing with Ken before this and I was like, oh, that's how that's what you go for in that situation. A lot of throws. Hey, don't throw me back. Hey, I messed it up. Okay, thank goodness. I wonder where I should spend meter in that combo to make it longer. I can see I could I could drive rush it at the start because I can't do the ex. Um, oh, I could do the ex spinning kick. Huh. I was thinking I can't do the ex. Um. Aerial grab, because that just doesn't work. That's right, I need to shut up and pay attention and do a wake up DP. Oh my god. Oh no. Nice. Oh, he could have gone into a level 2 there. Oh no, am I dead? Oh, I'm alive. Okay, from doing pretty crappily and accidentally paying attention to Ken's combos more than mine, we managed to win two rounds in a row. <clears throat> okay, Kimberly versus Ken. I guess I can get some practice in trying to get around the fireballs with like my slide and stuff. Oh my god, did he react to that? There's no way. That wasn't a punish? Okay, okay. Punish counter? What am I doing? Why would I do that? It was kind of kind of scrambly. Let's maybe try and make it a little bit cleaner in the next round. Alright, so projectiles, I can go under them with that. I still don't get really plus. I have to be like super max range to get around that. Okay. And I've seen from other Kimberly players, it's good to go into your level 3 basically as soon as you can, because you keep buff for the rest of the round, so you may as well. Ooh, okay. What the heck? Why is my... Why is this in front of my screen? Okay, okay. Thank goodness. For some reason when I pressed, um punch and a kick at the same time, it puts the screen away from the foreground and then every other tab I have goes in front. Is this the same guy again? It seems to be happening a lot. Dolphin? Maybe not. Or maybe yes, I have no idea. Should I st try and start with the slide again to go into projectile? It was meant to be a DP, of course. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that one. Oh, uh, not the right combo, but I'm glad it didn't go horribly wrong. Okay. Slide again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be plus enough from a lot of ranges I'm doing it at to actually get a combo off. I think I'm gonna stop aiming for it so much. Ah, 
Ups. Okay, bro. Okay. Oh, I'm not even dead? Cool. No! Okay, I guess if they're jumping close to me, I should use my light. My light, um, down back kick DP thing. Okay. Ah, that doesn't work. Okay. Okay, sometimes it works. Into level 3. Get the buff. We'll be so fast. We can go in and out. In and out for the throws. Whoa! Another perfect KO. Okay. Okay, Kimberly. We get a rematch? Oh, this guy's actually rematching. Okay. We've got a set going. <laughs> Instantly drive impact. Of course. Oh, oh, crosscut. It's got the crosscut DP for me to change to the other side. Calm down, bro. No, I didn't think you would actually get hit by that. I didn't even remember it was there. What was I doing there? I thought I went for my invincible DP. Whatever. I should be rounded out. What if we just try jumping? Whoa, hey bro. again. Let's go for the hop. Lol. And that jump thing is so crazy. It beats driving back so easily because of how she leaps afterwards. Oh. Grab. Grabbed me. Okay, I think I'm starting to get used to <laughs> the main thing that I'm having a problem with is I have so many options at every moment that I could technically go for. And I'm trying to figure out what is good in different situation or what is just good in general. And it's very tricky. And I'm definitely aware of how much it seems like I'm spamming attacks. I'm just trying to figure out what seems good where. Teleport is seeming really good. Oh yeah. The problem with that is... After my um, medium punch, heavy punch, I'm not sure what to cancel into when the opponent is mashing really hard because... They can mash out of my, my run. But... 
I'm not sure what else I can do that's actually safe. And I can't not cancel it because the target combo itself is very unsafe. I can do the EX version, that kind of works because I think it's faster. I love these bounce combos by the way. So fun. But maybe it's not really a problem. <laughs> While I was contemplating out loud what the issue was, I did just manage to win two games in a row. So maybe the, the solution is to just not think about it too much and just keep playing. But maybe just don't get into that situation as often. Wow. Standing Heavy Punch actually seems like it's ending up being a really good button in neutral. I tried to drive impact when I was trying to make it look like I went through a throw. The disrespect. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Totally said that was an accident. myself out after that drive rush so I couldn't go for drive impact. But we're still gonna win. <laughs> I don't know how I'm building so much meter. I feel like every round I've got three bars of meter constantly. Which, you know, I guess I'm not complaining about. But it just is kind of strange. I'm not used to that. Okay, we'll do one more with this guy. Let's try the slide. I'm a little bit trigger happy on the DPs, but I am with every character. No! Oh, I'm really low. Oh, I'm really low. Oh, I'm really low. No, that didn't hit. No! Ow, damn. Uh, I messed up the combo and then didn't know what to do. Whoa! Okay, bro. CA, okay. But I've got my level 3 now too, so... Or actually, don't think about that. Don't use it. Down forward, down forward, punch for my level 1. I mean, down forward, down forward, kick. And See, that's what I'm talking about. These overheads just at any time also seems really ridiculous. I think I said that about every tool she has. But because they're all so good, I want to use them all and I'm not doing a good job at using them all correctly. Oh, that didn't combo! 
Damn it. That's too slow. Ah, okay. I keep dialing into this, but if I go into that... God, I also have this ridiculous slide. Oh my goodness, she's so many tools. I didn't even use that overhead or the plus unblock thing. My goodness. But I keep... I think I need to stop my habit of dialing into that... Into... into the run. Off of my medium punch, heavy punch. Because there seems to be a few flaws with it. A, if my opponent is mashing, they can just mash out before it even hits them, if they're blocking. And also, when I get the hit and I just go into that, like, that's kind of all I get. I don't get to go for any kind of super, or even if I spend meter, I don't really get anything unless I'm close to the corner. So it kind of just ends up being, a, like, a really low damage confirm off of my best buttons. So I think I should maybe focus more on just doing my crouching medium punch, or crouching medium kick, crouching medium punches and stuff. And instead of always going straight in, into the entire target combo, just do the first hit or something, do more staggers. And when I do get the full hit, I choose which special move to go into. And go in like down forward medium punch or something that I can actually have more use for. Nice. Lex is rising up uppercuts. Okay, I did it again. Are you kidding me? See? And I meant to go for the, the paint teleport. Damn, it's so quick. Let's try the slide. Oh, I love doing that with Luke. I'm glad he does too. Hi, I'm an idiot, and I do stupid things. I went. I was thinking about it the entire round. Okay, I'm not gonna go into the run. I'm not gonna go into the run. What do I do as soon as I get a hit? I went into the EX run, and then went for the grab. Two awful decisions in a row. Oh my goodness. It's okay, we're learning a new character. Things are bound to go wrong. He's putting himself in a really low meter state. It's also really hard to hit confirm just those two hits. I did it again. It's okay. Yeah, I can use it in the corner here. This makes sense. Nice. love the teleport. The teleport hasn't let me down yet. But the target combo in this run have been a little bit, uh... If I don't cancel into anything, I really need to make sure I at least do something, because it's punishable. <laughs> Ooh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. No! Here we go. 
just really unsure about everything, really. At least these combos I can do in the corner correctly because... Oh god, I'm so dead. Jeez. It actually makes sense to go for the run in the corner. I think when I'm done here, I'll have to go into training mode and, like, experiment with what things I can get off of that that are some level of safety. Maybe I just drive rush, really. With every other character, I do tons of drive rushes. Why can't I do the same with her? Should we try one more time? If he lets us, we will. Otherwise, I think we've done good enough. All right. Let's try spending more drive gauge. Okay, that was already a lot better. Maybe it was just a little bit of a change of mindset that I needed, but something felt better there. Oh! I thought I was on the other side, whoops. Cancel into anything again. Sorry, bro. I got teleports. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Yeah. Rising up a cut. Gotcha. And let's start with end with let's end with the style. I think we've been playing with Kimberly a little bit uh a little bit better than we started with. And I think overall we're doing an okay job of comprehending all the options she has in neutral and at least trying to use them all, even if I don't successfully confirm into the greatest combos or whatever. But I think we did okay, and I think we have decently done a good job of learning Kimberly. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!